And as the presidency is assuring Nigerians there will be no increase in the price of petrol, the Niger state governor is asking the chief of air staff to deploy more fighter aircraft to the state to fight terrorism. Umar Bago made the appeal during a condolence visit to the chief of air staff in Abuja. Sifonisian reports. May their souls rest in perfect peace. A moment of silence in honor of the souls of the troops that died in the MI-171 helicopter crash, as well as those that paid the supreme price fighting terrorists in Niger State. At least 21 military troops and vigilantes paid the supreme price fighting bandits in attacks that occurred on Sunday and Monday in Zungero in the Wushishi local government area of Niger State. 30 of the bandits also died. Another tragedy struck later on Monday when the Air Force helicopter that evacuated the casualties crashed the mountains of Shuru. The state governor is pained by the loss of troops. Now he wants the Air Force to scale up its operations in the state. And some fighter planes to MENA so that we can uh, have more rapid responses, you know, from uh, when they are very close, instead of flying from either KNG or Kaduna. Only resolves 20 to 25 to 30 percent of uh, internal security issues. The remaining 75 to 70 to 75 percent can only be resolved through the whole of government approach. So while we are intensifying our kinetic efforts, it is extremely important that the government embraces the whole of government approach in addressing these challenges. Niger State has become a haven for bandits and terrorists who also engage in cattle rustling. The governor attributes states to the activities of illegal miners. The state has large deposits of lithium and gold. Over the years we've been trying to talk to them and that uh, there's a symbiotic relationship between the Fulani headsmen and the miners, you know, because they use uh, these uh, cattle to transship whatever they have mined. You know, that is why you see the symbiotic relationship. According to a report by Nigeria's Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, Niger State tops the list of states with illegal mining activities. While the authorities are scaling up efforts to curb the incidents, the death of the troops is a sad reminder of the price they sometimes have to pay. The loss is one the Air Force says would not be allowed to go in vain as it will scale up its operations across the country to ensure it is safer for citizens to leave. Sifon Asian, TVC News, Abuja. Staying in Abuja where the federal government earlier today said there will be no increase in the pump price of premium motto spirit, also known as petrol, anywhere in the country. That was according to the special advisor to the president on media and publicity, during Galali, who noted that the market has been deregulated and will remain so. He emphasized that government will address the inefficiencies within the midstream and downstream petroleum subsectors to maintain prices where they are without having to resort to a reversal of the administration's policy in the petroleum industry. Mr. President wishes to assure Nigerians uh, following the announcement by the NNPC Limited just yesterday that there will be no increase in the pump price of petroleum motor spirit anywhere in the country. We repeat, the president affirms that there will be no increase in the pump price of petroleum motor spirit. We also wish to uh, affirm that the President is determined to maintain competitive tension within uh, all subsectors of the petroleum industry. He is determined to ensure that our policy drawn up uh, as well as policy implemented uh, follows the cue that there will not be any single one entity dominating the market. The market has been deregulated, it has been liberalized, 
and we are moving forward in that direction without looking back.